moving on to systematic sampling. So we've already looked at simple random sampling. We've looked at stratified sampling, cluster sampling. If you haven't seen those videos, because you're watching these out of order, you can go back and find those as well. But let's focus on systematic sampling. I still have my 30 people in my population, and I'd still like to have a sample size of 10. So my sample size is going to be 10. Well, in order to get my 10 people, I'm going to use systematic sampling. And it sounds just like the title. I'm going to create a system in order to get my sample size. Well, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to choose to start with the second person in my population. Or if these people are living on streets, just like we were looking at in cluster sampling, this was one street, this one up here was Maple Street, this one was Main Street, and this one was First Street, and I'm going to walk around the neighborhood and interview them, then I'm going to choose to start with the second house. So I would interview this person. Um, my plan or my system is going to be start with the second house and I'm going to interview every third house after that or every third person that lives in every third house. So here we go. I start with my second house. And then I'm going to skip over to the next third, to, to the every third house. So I go one, two, three, and I interview this person. And then go one, two, three, and interview this person. And then go one, two, three, and interview this person. And then one, two, three, interview. 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 One, two, three, interview this person, and now I should have my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is my sample size of ten. And that is systematic sampling. If you start somewhere and then you interview or choose every third person after that, or every fourth person, or every tenth person, it doesn't ha you don't have to start with the second one and go every third. I could have changed that up, but this concept is called systematic sampling. Now I want you to notice something about this particular sample that I collected. In this sample, there was only one blue person chosen. Nope, I take that back. There were only two people chosen in that sample. And there was only two, there were only two of the red girls in that sample as well. That means that there were one, two, three, four, five, six of the black stick men in that particular sample. So systematic sampling is kind of nice, and that's how you would do it. But at the same time, systematic sampling sometimes might lead to something called bias. And the bias in this case would be that I'm getting more of one type of stick man as opposed to the other type. So sometimes systematic sampling is OK. But you have to be careful because in this case, it just so happened that there were six of the black stick men, only two of the blue stick men, and only two of the red stick girls. So systematic sampling, but you got to be careful.